Hi there, I hope you have a lovely day. Welcome to my channel. My name is Turner. So today I have the finale for the project Pen Me a Story Watson. Um, this project was created, I believe, by Deborah. And it, this is actually a project pen about Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson or the adventures of Sherlock Holmes um, written by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. This was a year long project. It started last year in May 22nd and it is now May 22nd. I have not seen any updates that this project will be having a round two or something like that. I, I remember in the last video I said I might continue to do that, but I have not seeked, uh, sought the permission of the creator to continue with this project. So I thought, you know what, open up this day or slot for another project pad because we have sometimes, you know, two or three projects which started on the same day. And I wanna, let's say, how can I say, have more time to fo really focus on then other projects. Now, let me show you what I did so far with the products that I had in this project. And yeah, and that's it then in that sense. So I had this Mac bronzer in for a case of identity, a brand you are loyal to. And I had this uh, matte bronzer from Mac and I'm just going to show you. I repressed it actually and I put in some pigment just to make uh, this a shimmery bronzer. And you can see there is not so much more left so i'm just putting this bronzer also in other projects just to get it done because this is one of my old projects uh, uh, products i think it's over 10 years old now <laughs> but still good quality mac i have to say that's why you know uh, i'm loyal to you uh then i had something uh from uh for the uh the boscom valley mystery i'm just looking here because i have all the notes on this side someone so, something someone gave you and i had received this lip scrub as you can see i have not continued to use this one so this one is staying a little bit longer in my collection i will force myself to use it in another project but for now it is what it is now number 14 so i i'm jumping because i finished some of the uh what is it, uh, products and prompts. Uh, the Adventure of the Barrel Coronet, something transparent, and I had here this highlighter in, actually, the, I used it as a kind of finishing powder because on my skin it didn't show up uh, at all. I used this little guy four times. These are little pearls, they are a little bit like the Gala uh, pearls that you can have in, you know, like a tin um, case, and this one comes in a glass case with a plastic uh, lit so still I will just put it in other projects I think um, just to you know use it up uh, what else did I have number for number 15 the adventure of the copper beaches a product fragrance color chosen by someone else I had this little guy in this was a perfume uh, given to me by a friend uh, this is from the body shop the English dawn gardenia um, as you can see it was full when I put it into the project and yeah, I mean, I marked it a little bit, so, but you can see I used quite some bit, maybe not half of it, but one third at least. I used up, I want to get rid of this one, but I will want to keep the glass bottle. So, uh, pop, pop, pop. now, number 16, I put in the Valley of Fear, something that lots of people have. And I said, you know what, a lot of people, especially in the US, have Colourpop. And of course, we are getting Colourpop as well. We can order it from the US website, even though we have to pay customs on it. And I put in this little guy. This is the matte lipstick by Colourpop. It's called Clueless. I wanted to use it two times. I used it two times. So then I had for number, I skipped number 17, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, and I no, sorry. I put a rolled in number 17 the last time, but I skipped it so many times now to put in something. And I put in this makeup obsession, mega conceal, uh, concealer in this shade 04. Um, I have not used it, so therefore this one will definitely go into another project. Uh, number 18, the adventure of the yellow face, a sunscreen. I put in this sunscreen from Born Tree directly from South Korea. And I can see through the bottle, I am below the E, so it's like maybe some product is here still on the top of it. But if I look through it and I can see it, I'm right now here. So I, I'm using it on a daily basis and I think I will finish it maybe in one or two months. Then this one is gone. Uh, what else do I have? Then I skipped number 19, but I put a number for number 20, the adventure of Gloria Scott, something that is used as a, with a different purpose. 
and I put in this eyeshadow uh, from Max Factor this is the shade Unruly Amber and you know I use this as a highlight uh, highlighter instead of an eyeshadow and it is really nice as a highlight it has a pink pink tone to it it maybe looks a little bit you know like peach in that sense but it has a really nice pink tone to it so I used it as a kind of highlighter and I liked it that much so yeah as I said this was now my finale for this project I will put in of course another project on this day on the 22nd of May and we will see what I will start next but maybe Deborah will decide to you know have round two I don't know because I have not seen any postings about this on the uh, fantastic ladies Color, uh, Facebook group so we will see anyway I hope you enjoyed this finale I see you in the next uh, um, next video next update of another project have a good day bye bye